Hello and welcome to my channel of Java Noobs. My name is Sharath and you are viewing my Java video tutorial series. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I would suggest you to see it first and below is the link. Java Basics Part 1 What are primitive data types? What are reference data types? What is the difference between primitive and reference data types? When we declare a variable of primitive type, it is known as primitive data type. In Java, there are eight data types and it is int, byte, char, short, float, double, long and boolean. When we declare a variable of any class type, it is known as reference data type. Example, test t1, test t2. In primitive data types, the memory allocated depends on the size of the data type. When JVM allocates memory in Java, it depends on the size of the data type and every data type is having different size. Uh, for example, int will have 4 bytes, char will have 4 bytes, whereas double will have 8 bytes and so on. Now JVM allocates 8 bytes by default for every reference variable in a class. So no matter what, if it is a reference variable, 8 bytes of size will be allocated by default by the JVM in a class. And the next difference is, the default values of primitive data types depends on primitive data type. So the default values of each primitive data type or each data type differs from one another. For example, the default value of int will be 0, float will be 0, 0.0, char will be null, and boolean will be false, and so on. Whereas JVM initializes reference variables as null, and will also initialize array to null. So every reference variable by default will be initialized to null. Also notice that all the array will be initialized to null as well. So these are the difference between primitive data types and reference data types. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the video, please go ahead, rate, comment and subscribe.